Hey everybody, so I recently picked up a number of items from the drugstore and I thought I'd do kind of like a little mini haul with you guys and some of the new stuff I found. The majority of it is from Hard Candy, but there's a couple of random products as well. And I thought I would just give you kind of my first impression on these products. I have tried each of them out except for one, um, at least one time. So I wanted to give you my quick first impression in case you see these in the store. And if you'd like to see a more in-depth um, review of these products as I continue to use them, let me know in the comments down below and I will let you know what I think. So starting with some hard candy products. This is a new one that I've seen in the store. It's called Light Bright Whipped Brightening Concealer. It's in one of those click up pens. There's the packaging there, and it's very similar to the Maybelline Dream Lumi packaging, where the product is in this chamber right here. And then when you open it, that's the pen, and you click up the product through the pen. And I have the color Light 505, so I'm just gonna click it up a bit so you can see the product. Like I said, I have used this um, once before. I'm gonna click it up so you can get a bit more. There we go very creamy and it is kind of whipped um, very interesting consistency that's what it looks like right there i am quite pale right now and this is very light on me so definitely keep that in mind that's what it looks like as you blend it out it still works i did use it under my eyes oh and it's starting to goop out the side there so you don't need that many clicks all right, my first impressions on this. I liked the concept. I like that this was an inexpensive version of the Dream Lumi. It was only a couple of dollars, I believe. I like the packaging. Um, it doesn't take very many clicks to get a lot of product out, as you see, so that's awesome. The color of it is quite fair, so I would probably go a shade up that you normally do, um, but you might be able to get away with the current shade that you are. Just know that it is quite light. And there is like a slight peachy hint to it, which is really good for correcting, you know, like the blue color under your eye, which I liked. What I didn't like about it, now keep in mind I've only used it one time, is that it got kind of cakey on me under my eyes. It didn't necessarily seep right into my fine lines. It just kind of went a little bit patchy throughout the day and lost its coverage and just kind of went, yeah, patchy and cakey. So my first experience with this was not the best. I am gonna try to get out again. I'm gonna try it different ways, like under my foundation or with primers, things like that. But that was my kind of first impressions on this guy. Okay, the next one I featured in my favorites video, it's called the I'm Tired Depuffs, Brightens, and Firms. It's in a squeeze tube. And it's, when you open it up, it's got little roller balls on it and they're very cooling and basically you roll it under your eye as you squeeze the tube and this gel-like consistency comes out and it seeps into your eyes and the rolling motion helps that gel seep into your eyes and it's supposed to help depuff and um, brighten and firm. I don't know about the whole firming aspect. Um, or necessarily brightening. I'd have to use it more to really see the results on those. But deep puffing, I would say it definitely works. The cooling effect and the gel, I feel like it's moisturizing and it is doing something and it feels nice. So I would say this is a win. I'm really liking this product so far. The last one I picked up from Hard Candy, I was really excited about this. It's a um, jumbo eyeshadow pencil, like a cream eyeshadow. And I've been loving these from so many different brands. This one's called Shadowaholic. 12 hour waterproof eye crayon and the color I got is after hours it's a deep purple color really cute packaging it oh it actually came came in a big case thing with a jumbo um, eye sharpener so or eye pencil sharpener I suppose so that's awesome really great deal it was, this is only a couple dollars together they had a number of different colors this one caught my eye because I didn't feel like I had something quite like this. It seemed pretty matte and a really deep dark purple, so I thought it would make a really great base. But when I got it home, I am really disappointed. Even now here as I'm sitting it with it, it's coming apart. I'm going to try and make it do that again. Yeah. As I shook it, the product... <laughs> Whoa! The whole product can come out. So really bad packaging um and then when i go ahead and swatch it i'm gonna put it back together so i can swatch it it's dry as heck like i am rubbing this over and over and over and over again that's what i'm getting really patchy um chunks coming off when you try and blend it out it's just patchy and then it basically just fades away to nothing as you can see 
So it's just a huge dud. I'm going to see if I still have the packaging so I can return this because this is just awful. I don't know if I got a dud or if they're all like this. I almost feel like I want to try out another one because I don't feel like something can be this bad and be sold. Like they didn't try it out at all before they packaged it up and sold it. I don't know because it's just, it's awful. I don't even know where to go with it. It looked really promising. I love these type of things, but huge, huge dud. So that's disappointing. Okay, on to a product that is not a dud. Um, and it is from CoverGirl. And it's the new bombshell shine shadows, they're called. And they come in these little squeeze tubes like this. They're on the new the new display racks. Um, that's at least where I found mine. And this is in the color Gold Goddess. When you open it up, it comes in a squeeze tube like this. I've worn this a number of times, actually. So a pretty good idea of it. It's a cream shadow like that. And then when I blend it out on my hand, it's really pretty. Very creamy, very shiny, catches the light. Can you see that? That's crazy. Um, blends out really, really nice. And then once it's set, it's, it holds. It doesn't crease at all. I haven't had any creasing. I've worn it completely on its own without an eyeshadow. And I've worn it with an eyeshadow on top. It just kind of enhances that eye color. Even on its own though, it doesn't crease at all. And yeah, it's just really gorgeous. I want to try out some more colors in those because that's, that's a hit. I love that. And then the last product I tried out, well I haven't tried out yet, but I bought, I bought on clearance and I really love the Maybelline color tattoos. I have a number of them, but when I see them on clearance, I have to pick them up. Check this out. Clearance is at Target for $3.49. Normally these are around the $10 mark in Canada, so I think that is a really good deal. So I look for a color I didn't already have. As you see, I haven't opened it yet. The color I got is Edgy Emerald, um, which I've wanted to try out. Not a color I would wear right now this time of year but definitely a color i would wear come spring and summer Ooh, i love that so it looks like the teal green teal color really really pretty let's watch it for you very creamy mine i've had my color tattoos for i don't know two years i want to say now uh, and they're definitely drier than this like this is super creamy right now because i just got it there it is really nice um they're definitely drier than when I first bought them, but they're still completely usable, in my opinion, anyway. I just stick my finger in it and hold it there for a couple seconds, and it warms up the product, and it's good to go again. So I haven't really had any issues with that. I think they've been a great investment, and when I see them on clearance, I definitely pick them up. So yeah, that's kind of like my mini random drugstore haul. Let me know what you think down in a comment down below, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!